Hey darling, um, sorry it's been a minute. I'm trying to readjust myself. Had fun with Marlene while she was here, but back to the videos and all the things. I don't have a hair tie, so we're just gonna make do today. Um, keep a little bit on the more mellow side. Maybe we'll throw some abs in today. Um, we'll see, it's a mellow playlist, so. Um, if you have any requests and stuff, just let me know. Makes me dive back into my anatomy book and look at some things. So, with that said, let's ground down through our sit bones. Take the crown of the head up to the sky. Hands can rest on the tops of the thighs or they can face up. Grounding energy, receiving energy. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. Two more. Exhale. Starting off by giving gratitude to the indigenous peoples of this land. Salish, Blackfeet, Kootenai tribes out here in the Mizzou. Giving gratitude for this practice of yoga black and brown people who originally created this practice, giving gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, for showing up on our mats, to create more space in ourselves and in our minds for joy. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to extend a little bit of love and kindness towards today, you can take the time to do so now. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Then slowly look up in the eyes. Come back into the room and into the space. Let's go ahead and come into a little bit of Janu first to start. The sole of that left foot comes to the inside of the thigh. Sit up nice and tall, move your cheeks out behind you. Turn your torso towards that straight leg. Inhale, arms come up. And then on our exhale, we come down and over. If you can grab onto the toes, great. Keep it just in some small movement stuff. We're not trying to do big, full stretches yet. You can pull down with your elbows, awesome. Toes flexing in towards your face a little bit more. Big inhale. Exhale, maybe you tuck your chin in towards your chest and bring your forehead to your knee. If you need to put a little bit more of a bend in the knee, go ahead and feel free to do so. Big inhale. Breathe into the belly and then exhale. <sighs> belly pulls in towards the spine. Again, big inhale. Exhale. Last time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk the hands up, fish in, rock back on the sit bones, change up the cross of the feet, same thing on the opposite side, sole of the foot captures the inside of the thigh, flex the toes back towards the face, inhale, arms come high. Exhale, down and over the top of the thigh. You can grab for the base of the foot, if that is your preference. You can always put a block on the base of the foot, but thinking about pulling forward with the chest lowering down through the elbows. Big inhale. Exhale. 
maybe tuck your chin in towards your chest. Maybe you bring your forehead to the knee. If you can't do it with a straight leg, you can always put a bend in the knee. But think about getting the forehead to the knee in that compression space. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale slowly. Walk the hands up the shin. Take both feet out in front of you. Flex the toes back towards the face. Move your seat back and forth side to side. Maybe keep a little bend in your knees as you reach high. Exhale, come down and over. You can grab onto the base of the feet or you can always grab in between your big and second toe and pull down that way. Pulling forward with the heart space. Maybe you move your seat back a little bit more as you come down and over the tops of the thighs. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and walk up the shins. I'm gonna go this way so you don't have to look at my vagina. <laughs> Um, again, y'all, this is for something for a dear friend of mine, so um, we're just going to keep it totally real. Anywho, we're going to lay down here. We did this one in Chelsea Maxson's class the other day. It was a good one, so we'll do a little bit of ab work here. Hands come back behind the head. You bring your heels together to touch, and you're going to press the soles away. Take the shoulder blades up off the mat, and then pull the knees in towards the armpits. So press and pull. We go for eight, for seven, shoulder blades up off the mat, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. And then keep the shoulder blades up off the mat, bring the feet and the knees together and then extend out and pull in. We go for eight. For seven, for six, for five, for four, for three. Shoulder blades up off the mat for two and one. Go ahead and put a bend in the knees. Bicycle it out. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right. For eight, seven, for six, for five, for four. For three, for two, and one, and then both knees to elbows, chin in towards your chest, and then reach and extend, pull hands back beyond the hips, like you're pressing the wall away. We go for eight, seven, six, for five, for four, for three, for two. And one. And then go ahead and slowly put the soles of the feet down to the mat. Arms come out to the side. Let the knees drop over to the right. Look out past the left. Breathe into the belly. Exhale. Soften. Big inhale. And then exhale. Pull the knees through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Look out past the right fingertips. Big inhale here. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Breathe into the belly and then wring it out. Low belly pulls down towards the spine. Take the knees back to center line and go ahead and rock on your spine, coming up and over into your tabletop. One of these days, I'm gonna get that press and just press back. This is the goal, girl. All right, until then, Tabletop it is. Hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, chest pulls forward. Exhale, press. Go for three more. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. One more. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Right hand comes underneath the face. Left hand comes all the way up to the sky. Big inhale. Look up to the fingertips. If that's a huge strain on the neck, you can look down to the hand. 
and then swoop the hand and come down onto that left shoulder. Right hand serves as a pillow underneath the head. It can also come offside. You can also extend towards the top of the mat. If you want more of a challenge, you can take that left leg and extend it behind you and stay on the ball of the foot. If that's too much on the shoulder, don't do it. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, drop that knee. That hand comes right next to your cheek. It's like the L kind of cups the cheek. And you sweep. Exhale. Hand down underneath the shoulder. Inhale. Chest forward. Exhale, press and pull. Two more. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press and pull. One more time. Inhale, chest pulls forward. Exhale, press and pull. Inhale, back into table. Left hand underneath face, right hand up to the sky. Big inhale, look up to your fingertips, press. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, flip the palm. Come down onto that shoulder. Left hand underneath the head like a pillow or it can come off side. You can always press into the palm and drag the shoulder through a little bit more. Nice deep inhale. Try not to wave to one side or the other with your hips. Try to keep them on nice and straight. Nice deep inhale. The twist comes from the spine. And again, you can extend out through that left foot. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, drop that knee. Take the hand right next to the face. Press. Inhale, swim that hand high. Exhale. Hand comes down to the mat. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Inhale, back into the table. Flip the toes, pop the hips high, come into your down dog, pedal up through the feet. Maybe you extend the legs behind you a little bit. Just checking in with how you're feeling. Take your feet to the edges of the mat and walk the hands back about a hand and a half length distance. That left hand's gonna come underneath the face, the right hand is gonna, excuse me, right hand underneath the face, left hand outside of the ankle. Try to stay mirroring you. Exhale, hold here. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Same thing on that opposite side, ground down through the hand. Hand comes to the outside of that left ankle. Turn and twist. Exhale, release. Walk the hands back towards the feet, the back of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, down and over. Engage your quad, let yourself fall. And then on the inhale, sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Arms are high. Hands come down through center line. We're gonna walk ourselves out into a warrior three. So inhale, arms come high. Hands can interlock, you can release the index fingers. We're gonna step out with our right foot and come down and over. Pointing towards the front of the room, trying to keep this hip dropped, right? And not collapsing into that right hip. You can point or flex your toes if you wanna bring your hands to your heart, you can. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, press here, hold, lift through that top leg, standing split, and then slowly, you're gonna see if you can bring yourself back up, engage your low belly, hold here, and bring yourself back up to stand. Step back. Same thing on that opposite side, okay? So arms come high. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, pull up and out of the waistline, step with that left foot, ground down through the ball of that foot first, and then tip and lean. Hold here. Again, try not to collapse into this hip. So keep this leg strong as you drop down through your right hip. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. 
Exhale, hands come all the way down to the mat and think about lifting high through that back, right leg, big inhale. Standing split. And then engage your low belly, ground down through your big toe mound and slowly lift yourself all the way back to stand, set that foot back. Hands come down to your sides. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, walk the hands out into plank. Nice deep inhale. We lower, drop to the knees, and pull yourself up into a cobra. Big inhale. Breathe into the chest, and then take the knees wide. Press back into your child's pose. Crawl out with your fingertips. You can take that third eye down to the mat. All right. Hold here, crawl the hands off to that opposite side, pull back through that hip, nice deep inhale. Lengthen through that side body, turn the torso a little bit more down to the mat. And slowly walk your hands off and through to that other side. Pull back through the hip. Turn the torso so it's more parallel to the mat. Exhale, slowly walk the hands back to center line, and then slowly walk the hands back towards you. Come down and onto your seat. Extend your legs out in front of you. If you wanna come into a happy baby, you can. Grab your foot the outsides of your feet, soles of your feet up to the sky, rolling back and forth side to side here. Maybe you straighten through one leg as you pull the other. Same thing. Slowly release. Soles of the feet come together to touch. You can let your knees come down. I like to do a little like shift here so you can pull down through your low back and extend out of your waistline and let yourself just hang out here for a moment. You can always pop pillows underneath your thighs if it's a lot on your knees. Nice deep inhale. And exhale, release all of that you're holding. One more time, big inhale. Exhale. Try to extend out through the feet. Take up some space. Arms can come really wide coming into your Shavasana. Stay where you're at. Do a little breathing for you today. So coming back and settling in your breath. I just want to read Mary Oliver, but she's so depressing sometimes. I read her in class the other day and I was like, okay, not ready for that right now. Although I read a really great thing, or listened to a really great piece from Satguru, um, who said, it's important to nurture the root and not the fruit. Um, and that trees don't eat their own fruit. Um, and so I thought that that was really wonderful. Um, as a sentiment. So with that said, that we don't eat our own fruit, recognizing greatness in others is recognizing our own greatness. We cannot recognize greatness in others unless we too possess that same quality in ourselves. A person who is said to possess greatness stands apart from others in some way usually by the size or the originality of their vision and their ability to manifest that vision. And yet, those who recognize that greatness, whether they display it themselves or not, also have greatness within them. Otherwise, they could not see it in another. In many ways, the achievements of one person also belong to many people, for we accomplish nothing alone in this world. People who display greatness rely upon others who are able to see as they do, to listen, encourage, and support. That those people who recognize greatness and move in support of it 
even the greatest ideas, works of art, and political movements would remain unborn. We're all moved by greatness, and we see it, and although the experience is to some degree subjective, we know the feeling of it when we encounter it, as if it's something in us stirs, awakens, and comes forth to meet what was inside us all along. When we respond to someone else's greatness, we feed our own. We may feel like we may feel called to dedicate ourselves to their vision, or we may be inspired to follow a path we forge ourselves. Either way, we cannot lose when we recognize that the greatness we see in others belongs also to us. Our recognition of this is, is, to call, is a call to action that if he did, will inspire others to see in us the greatness they also possess. This creates a chain reaction of greatness, unfolding itself endlessly into the future. Ultimately, greatness is simply the best of what humanity has to offer. Greatness does what it has not been done before and inspires the same courage that it requires. When we see it in others, we know it. And when we trust its presence in ourselves, we embody it. I'm actually not sure who this is by. It might be David Vendetti, who I know well and spoke to today. So taking that moment, Jane, to breathe into the greatness of you. To see the greatness of you. And to know it, as Bob Marley says, the one who knows it feels it. So I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. I will be on top of a couple more of these for you next week. Um, but until then, peace and love. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine greatness in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine greatness in you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today and for trusting me with your body. And to that, I say go in peace and serve love always. Love you.